Hey everyone! I have been tagged by Mike Grace, author and poet, to do the first line by challenge. This is a challenge which was originally created by Lost in a Bookcase. I will link both channels down below. So what this challenge is, I need to go to a bookstore, find a book based on the first line alone as I next read. I can look at the title and the cover, but the majority of my judgment needs to come from the first line of the book. I am allowed to see if it's part of a series, so I don't have to start with number three of a series, but I'm not allowed to read the summary, so I'm going into it blind. I'm excited for this. I am here at Goodwill to do my book search. It's one of my favorite places to find used books and I don't know of any bookstores around here that are open. So I'm at Goodwill. I'm going to go on my hunt, see what I find, and hopefully um, it will be a good book. I am back from my shopping hunt and I have some books. So I'm gonna go home and I'll share the first lines so you can see what I got. I made it back home and I'm ready to go through what I bought. I did end up buying two books that were not the first line, but they're books that I've had kind of in mind. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. It's a book I have not read yet, and I know it's a big thing, so I've been wanting to read it, and now I can. Plus, it was $2.99. You've got to be kidding me, the bouncer said, folding his arms against his massive chest. And then the second book that I got was Rick Riordan's The Red Pyramid. I've heard a lot about this book and I know a lot about Rick Riordan. I wasn't a huge fan of Percy Jackson. I've only read the first one and it took me forever to read. So I'm hoping that this one's a little bit better. It's got kind of a Egyptian flair, so I'm excited for that. For the first line by challenge experiment, I came away with three different books. So I had The House of Star by Caitlin Brennan, Reawakened by Colleen how and then stolen girl by marisha forcha guy Puch. Skyripuch. These were the two books that their first lines really grabbed me. This one had an interesting first line, but also like the cover is really exciting. It's all, all the Egyptian hieroglyphics in there, and that really called to me. In the great city of Ijewe, the air was thick and heavy, reflecting the mood of the men in the temple, especially the countenance of the king and the terrible burden he carried in his heart. What I liked about the reawakened line, it got me thinking about the king. So I know something has happened, the mood is definitely somber, and so that kind of, you know, brings you into the story a little bit. So I wanted to know why the mood is like that and what the king has done or had to have gone through. For House of the Star, between the lake of fire and the river of ice, Ellen faced the truth. What I liked about this line was uh, this juxtaposition of a lake of fire and a river of ice. You know, they don't go together. And I thought that was just really poetic. And it made me wonder, well, what truth is Ellen facing? We know that we're in some kind of magical world because we have a lake of fire and we know something has happened to this main character. She has some kind of truth she is going to be talking about. I thought the cover was interesting. I mean, I guess what I really like is I like the little the mane of the horse kind of going into the stars, but it's not a book that I would pick up just from the cover. The last book that I got was The Stolen Girl. The cover is really interesting. I mean, we have this girl who is kind of hidden behind the shadows of the soldiers in front of her. And the tagline is, was she raised by the enemy? So we have lots of questions going on there. And then we look at the first line. The woman who said she was my mother was so ill on the ship from Europe 
though she wore a sickness bag around her neck almost the whole time. This is what is so intriguing. The woman who said she was my mother. So who is she really traveling with? That is what stuck in my mind as I went through the different books. Of the three books, Stolen Girl was the one that had the most captivating first line. Let me know in the comments below which book you thought had the most intriguing first line. As this is a tag video, I am tagging you, my audience, to do the same thing. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I will um, read these and get back to you. Until then, see you on the next page.